Hey guys, Marcus Office 12 here, and in the last episode, we finished the Hotel of Horror. Morgan, you can come back in now. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to defeat Catbat. Now, I had a failed recording of this because I tried recording myself using one of the power-ups. Thingies I could buy in the item shop, and I shouldn't have done that. So, the cat's weakness is this dog. If you, basically, if you buy the dog, then the enemy itself will be set down to two bars. So I'm not going to do that this time because you want to see me like, I don't know, try and beat this boss without cheating. Well, it's not really cheating, but it's just help, I suppose. So yes, I have a guest with me today, but he's not going to say much. Anyway, this isn't too bad. He just shoots little um, torrents of water and he just smash that thing on his head. Sorry I haven't been updating a lot recently, it's just that, well, I've been kind of busy with things and tired and talking to some people and stuff. If you touch these things, you inflate and... Yes. Uh, uh, this little tank underneath you, this small submarine thing, it will just try to hurt you because you only have four hearts, you can only get hit four times. Which is kind of obvious for all the bosses, but it changes in super hard mode because you only get one heart, which is really annoying. Anyway, I'm going to try and do this within the time limit so I don't lose any of the chests. This boss is going to be the first part of this episode, because this part episode is going to be in three parts, and because I have an extended time limit on YouTube now, it means I can upload it always one go. Because amazingly, all my copyright strikes are gone, which is awesome. And also, I can upload thumbnails for videos, which is kind of awesome too. Alright, so this next part, you want to sort of bum slam on his head, where it's all gone bold, like an old person. <laughs> As you can see, it's very hard. Move! Yes, yes! Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, I'm fine. Ah! Die, 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 die. Okay, what the hell? I've never done that before. Awesome source. Alright, those red ones will hurt your health. And, uh, no. You got three pieces of health left. I'm gonna start losing chests. No. 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 Yes, yes. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay the water torrents are getting faster. No, no, this way, this way. This way. Oh my god, oh my god, 10 seconds until the chests start disappearing. Come on! Yeah! Okay, I did it. Well, his eyeballs look like... Yeah, that's awesome! What's that? Never mind. That's a bracelet. <laughs> and we finally finished all four passages. And you know what's going to happen now? We'll fight the Ultra Boss! Well, I guess if you can call it that, but... Basically, all the bosses... I'm not sure if you've played this game before, Morgan, but... Okay, well, <laughs> I've had like 21 episodes so far. Anyway, there's four levels in each of the sections, and then at the end of them is a boss. And I've defeated the fourth boss, and oh my god, the pyramid was a level all this time. A secret level. And what's that guy doing right there? Anyway. So, next time... No, I'm just joking, I wouldn't do that to you guys. Anyway. This passage only has one level, and it's one of the craziest levels in the whole game. Because, as soon as you start it, you land on the frog, and you have a time limit of 10 minutes, I think it is, to get all the pieces. Oh, okay, 6 minutes. Watch out for the chandeliers, because they all fall down on you and try to mess you up. Uh, you're going to be down here a lot, because this water like, pushes you back to the start, and it spreads throughout the whole level. The whole level is linear, but there are some traps along the way, like that sand ball. Ah, ah, no! Okay, it's okay. So, I just... It's okay, I've got five minutes more than... And I know where everything is, so yeah. I, whoa! I didn't press A that time! Okay, right. Damn it! So yeah, these chandeliers are really annoying. I know what I'm doing. It's just so annoying. 
<laughs> I just want to get all the diamonds and stuff. First treasure piece is actually down one of these holes, but I'm not sure which one it's in, so I'm just going to avoid it for now and get it at the very end. Uh, this guy will mess you up, but you want to grab him because he'll push you through some iron bar things. Come on. Wait, is there anything to do now? Let me just check. Um, okay, no. Come on. I have all day now. I'm going to freaking beard here. Alright, there should be something over here. Okay, I guess not. Um, I remember there being something bad around here. Probably just the bubbles. Alright, if you go through the middle... Oh, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no! Oh, damn it. Okay, if you go through the middle, we get the first piece where we can just do that. Yeah. Technically, it's the second piece because we missed the first piece because I told you guys where it is. So, keep swimming down to the bottom and get the, the bubble. Wait a second. Oh, no, wait, no, I just want that stupid piece of diamond or whatever it is. It's no, dude! <laughs> I don't want to be trapped in a bubble. Ugh. Okay. And then this one appears like they should make another wire game like this. I know Master of the Skies kind of counts, but I mean I like the I like the colours and art style of this game. I think got um, oh I know I know I'm doing that, okay. There should be a piece of treasure down here. Whee! I'll get that on the way back. And there's, whoa, and as you can see, it's elements from all the game all thrown into one level, like one big quick recap of the game you just played until you get to the back here, which is where you're going to have an ultimate boss. No! 50 coins! Oh god, I hate this fish. No. Yeah, how did he see me? Dead. Ha ha ha. Whoa, nearly saw me. Wait, if I'm not going this way, then which way am I going? Haha, <laughs> I stole your money. Why would a fish have money? Look, just think about it. When you kill it, it drops money. Look. It drops ten coins of money. Did so was somebody just... Is it one of those fountains where it says don't put money into the fountain? And then you see like five pounds worth of two peas in. And sometimes some idiots put 20 p's and pound coins in it. As just to taunt those people who say, Haha, I put money in your stupid fountain. Ugh, so stupid. Ah, oh, here we go again. Because I'm Wario, I like to get money. Wait, I thought he killed him. Oh, okay, I was just wasting my time. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, I don't think it's... Oh, wait. Let me just think. There is some things down here. I think there's like one diamond and that's it. No. Dude. Does that look like a monkey or a bear to you, Morgan? A monkey, that's why I call it. Some people think it's a bear. Hmm. I'm not sure which one the diamond's in, but I'm just gonna keep looking around. Wait, what? Oh no, the diamond's in the second one. Damn it. I think that's the second one. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Because I like zoom money. Damn it, Wario! Ah, why can't this? Why can't this be a Mario game where you can just wall jump? I suppose that make the game too easy then. Hey, 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 you idiot! Guess what? Over here, over here, you fuckhead! Hmm, I wonder why they have so many apples. Anyway, just going to walk over here. There's not enough time. <laughs> it's okay though because I know where I'm going. I didn't take that jet of water or whatever it is, the water current back to the beginning, so there's no real sense of panic here. This level's pretty linear. Right, just in case I'm supposed to go down on this ramp. If not, then I'm sorry for being so stupid. No, what? Okay, I'm very confused. But I do know I need the snowball for helping an old man or something in the next part. Yeah, money's Okay. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, damn it, I'll get the next piece of treasure. No, dude! Dude! No! Yes, yes. 
Okay, 43 seconds. Move. Ah, uh. oh, crap, I forgot. Wait, I need them to hit me. Come on, then. Come Dude, no, I'm over here. Silly tart face. I should be kind of like those troll things. Oh, never mind. Yes, I've got plenty of time. Dude! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Wario is just like chugging along. He's fine. Yeah, I know. It's not just funny. Okay, I don't think I can do this. Shush, Morgan, you're just You're so mean. So, the last piece of treasure should be over here. Oh no, I was wrong. Okay, well I can just do level for now, I suppose. And then I'll cut back. I'll cut the video to where I make it. Which is okay for now. Yeah. I gotta edit it first. I don't know, an hour or two. Especially how long this episode is. Okay, this is where I was last time. Um, I just got that piece there and then I missed going to this side. Okay, right. Sorry for that, guys. I where I remember this level, but I guess I must have been thinking of easy mode. Okay. This is the room of the old man, which is in that block up there, and... Wait a second. No, I can't. Okay. So, what you're going to want to do is... Ooh, money. Mm, I'll get that on the way back. So, what you're going to do is just hit that switch, turn this into a ramp, and then the old guy falls into doom. Get the piece of treasure and break this. And magically, the old man is back where he last was. So you can pick him up. And you can. No, dude. Ah! It's okay. He has the power of teleportation, like a wizard. No, dude. No, I need that. And he doesn't break the block because, as we know, he's indestructible and he doesn't need air. Jeez, he's like a tool. Anyway, right. Let's look for here. Now, do that and get the key. And you see there's a still current over here. It is possible to keep pressing A and actually make progress, but I have no idea what's back there because it's very hard to do. So, we're just gonna swim the rest of the level. I know I don't have enough monies, but that's okay. Even though I want that karaoke CD, but... Oh, wait, I suppose I could go back and get some things. 9,100... Mm. I don't have enough hearts. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly get some more monies. I better get... I'm not gonna get enough of the karaoke CD. Oh my god. Well, at least we're getting somewhere. No. <laughs> I'll go back and compete at a level soon. I really want that karaoke CD. Pardon me. And now we can play, like, or go against the final boss. Okay, I just hiccup. Whatever. Who is the final boss? Golden Diva or Diva, however you pronounce it. Now, I would recommend going to get a lot of coins because you're going to need to reduce as much health of her as possible but I'm just going to play her normally because I'm good like that but if you're playing in super hard mode you just like your bosses have to use on the items uh, I don't think any of these are super effective against her but um, I guess you could like pick your favourite. I'm not sure if there is one that's super effective against her. I'd say the lips, but I don't know, it's just stupid. Anyway. Um, and depending on how many treasure chests you get, the princess at the end of the game looks different. If you get zero, she turns into a baby. If you get between one and 
free, I think it is. She turns into a fat woman. Four to... Um, four to... I think it's ten, you get... Um, a woman... A child, and then I think it's a woman with long hair, and then it's a woman with short hair. What does? Psst, Morgan, that's not her face. <laughs> You'll get to see in a second. So, she's going to start throwing these heads at you and you're going to have to jump on top of them, otherwise this will happen. The only thing that can hurt you is the power-up she throws at you, which is kind of strange because she actually helps you defeat her. Um, you've got to throw this thing at her fan and it'll destroy it slightly. Die! Oh, there's a few more phases, like it starts getting really panicky and annoying. Like I said, she starts throwing power-ups at you and it's really hard because you have to be like 100% accurate with them. You can like mess up a little bit, but if you don't... Um, if you don't know what you're um, doing, then you won't be able to advance and then she'll just kind of stoop. Okay, I think she's about to throw a ball. Yeah. That's a ball. And then you got to throw it in the air at her face. Like that. And then she should throw, I think it's a bigger ball. And you got to quickly smack it as fast as possible and BOOM! And she throws a hammer or an egg. And do that. And then she throws the hammer which is covered in spikes. Now the hammer is the most useful because it's the only one you can use over and over again. As long as you don't leave it too long. So it will begin to disappear but you can pick it up again and keep using it. It's kind of like a like um, a speedrun method, I suppose. So you don't have to keep relying on their other items. Eventually she starts going mad and throwing them all at you at the same time, so it's okay. You can just... Whoa! Nice and exploding egg. You can just like keep using the hammer. Ha ha ha! In your face. She has so many different weird looking facial expressions. I wonder if she's going to start throwing the ball yet. Nope. Quickly, get the hammer. Yes, yes, and I can use it again. Damn it, I hate when that happens. Nope. No, d d damn it. It is kind of hard to use, though. No. Yes. Nope, pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. Okay, this is kind of hard to do, but yeah. Oh, whoa! I forget everything she throws at you explodes. Except the hammer, which is, like I said, kind of awesome. No! I missed! Okay, here's what she actually looks like. So she's gonna try and fly above you, go down, and you're gonna have to quickly smack her in the face. Otherwise, she'll turn all the level into spikes. Yeah. To avoid shockwave damage, jump just before she lands on the ground. And then you can smack her in the face. And then she turns into this pair of lips, and then you go BAM! And she turns into a cat, and now we will see the ending credits. And I have all the chests, which I'm doing in hard mode, so it's quite an accomplishment, but not as much of an accomplishment as super hard mode, which is what we are about to unlock. And once you complete the game on hard mode, or is it normally for the first time, the um, title screen icon, which used to be a finger, turns into a crown, and the background changes from gold blocks into Wario's face. Just so that you've been wondering what the border around my videos is from, or where it's from. So I'm just going to be quiet as the um, Wario escapes the pyramid. this, the old man still survives. Why does he need to run away from a pyramid? He's already indestructible. Ugh, whatever. I don't think that bag's big enough. What if the karaoke scene is? <laughs> what 
Does yeah. It come to you on front of the stairs? No, if you like complete all the levels, like, and you get, a, a, I think it's ten thousand coins minimum in each one of them, you get a karaoke CD. Like this cat starts singing, and it's like really awesome. He looks angry. That's what I thought when I first played the game. His face is all red, but well, in the beta of the game. His um skin was completely red. I have no idea why, but I'm glad they changed it. So yeah, yeah, this is the um best result. Thank you. No, just a random princess. I I think her name's Tsurgi or Tsuki or something. <laughs> yeah, she's Japanese. And then Chow's come down from Sonic. At least I think they look like Chow's. Look like pink Chow's. It's like, yeah, I'm waiting. Whereas, like, damn it. <laughs> he should have nicked her crown. <laughs> What's with the bag? All the treasure he got from those chests. In fact, they'll start popping out in a minute. Now, sometimes when I complete this game, I've had different. Why are you driving different vehicles, including a hover vehicle? Now, I don't know what influences the vehicle, but he normally just drives his normal car, but I guess it's something to do with the difficulty? I don't know. I'd assume so. Anyway, this has been a fun Let's Play, and I started more than a year ago. Sorry it's been taking so long to, to update each episode, but I only record if I feel like it, and I kind of feel like recording at the moment. While I'm waiting for someone to get back to me, but it's okay. In fact, that su the special someone is probably listening right now. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you get to see all the items he collected from those treasure chests. If at what any point you miss any of the treasure chests in the final battle, like or in any of the bosses, the ones that are in the background, then during this credit, the credit, some um, it just doesn't show the item popping out of the um, bag. So you're just looking at Wario drive along with credits. So in theory, the credits are twice as long if you collect everything. Kind of like a punishment, I suppose, but it's not really a punishment. You just get to see Wario, what he does with all, or after he's gotten all the riches from these, like, well, basically like showing the future, like what he's doing with all this money. And I think there's even one where it shows him like in a factory of toys. Wait, well, it might be this one. I oh, know this is one I'm sleeping. <laughs> it looks like a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> his glove looks the same color as his face. And we got a Teddy Bros. Oh yeah, that's him making toys. <laughs> Who'd want to? <laughs> Who'd want to worry? Actually, no, I might want one. If it looked like that, and then I'll probably give it to a child, like Morgan here. And then I'll give it to... Oh my god, Pig and him eating. Oh no, 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 no. Jake the dog and Finn the human. Stop singing adventure time! <laughs> Game Boy Advance made of gold. Wario starts selling them. And then... Wario you where comes along. Uh by Alex Day. Well, Morgan's just done a shout out now. Oh, I'm doing shout out, so I might as well do a shout out to my friend Claire Powell, who has been wanting me to do a shout out for her for over a year now. I think it's been two years. It might have been a year. Yeah, it's just I just couldn't think of any way to introduce her, so yeah, I guess I might as well do it now. <clears throat> well, my voice just cracked. I'm getting tired from talking too much. Oh my god, it's so hot, the window's open, I'm dying of heat. It is 6.38pm, um, British time, or London time. CET, I think it is. Oh my god, he's got a cog in his hand. Yeah, Wario, you drive that truck. You run over a hedgehog and eat it in a sandwich. If you into that kind of thing, I don't know. Oh my god, Wario, you're such a pimp. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> He's a bird. 
Oh, he's like, oh crap, just drives over a rock. The whole bag just collapses. No! Pfft, there was a bomb in there. And then the old guy comes out. He's the only thing that survives. Gee, that guy wears glasses. I wonder if they're, like, indestructible too. Gee, I'd like to see if you can, like, get the old man character. Like, hack into the game and take him into, like, a lava level and drop him in the lava and see if he swims in it. Oh, it's the title sequence again. <gasps> or is it? Well, his cat's grey now. Probably almost died of shock the last time where he ran him over. And another newspaper slapped newspaper slaps him in the face like a fish. What is it this time? Because we all know cats can read. Om nom 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 nom. Wario is going to get very fat. Which is probably why he swims slower in Super Mario 64 DS. Because my god he swims so slow in that game! See? A crown. And it says, check out the super hard mode, choose no data, and pick your mode. Wario! And now we got a crown, instead of a finger. And now, it is this. Wario's face. Oh my god. Like Inception, you've been wondering this whole time why his um the border of my around my videos has looked like that well now it's like a DS game derp 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 and now we can select super hard mode which I won't be covering so in the next no that's the end of this let's play and um, I hope you've all enjoyed watching my videos and for putting up with the first nine episodes is it being in poor quality so thank you guys and my next let's play will oh i think it was either going to be super mario land 2 or hmm, i don't know at the moment anyway yes bye guys see you next time